here and i'm back once again guys with another video if you are new you already know what to do hit that subscribe button right there also be sure to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss a single video but if you aren't new and you're already part of the 10.5 fam welcome back today the topic of the day if you haven't already seen by the title the clickbait title um it's basically about why my relationship ended and we're going to do a story time so let's get comfortable i have a couple of problems and tumblers are one so if you guys haven't already get yourself a tumbler fill it up with your favorite juice and drink because i'm about to give you some tea y'all give you some tea so hang with disclaimer me. this video is not to bash or to look down upon or frown upon the other party but if you don't want anything negative said about you don't do the crime if you can't do the time so um yeah, that's the disclaimer, so let's get straight into it. So basically, in this story time, I've gone back and forth with how I'm going to explain this because it is a lot, um, and I don't want to go too, too, too much in depth with everything that happened and what has been going on. I'm just going to go into the concepts with what was the red flags and what just happened in general. So... In the beginning, very, very early on, there was financial stability issues, stability issues. So, um, had a job, lost a job, then there was a financial strain. Then on top of that, we rushed everything. We rushed every single step, things that I would never do. Um, and moving forward, I would never do. Um, I rushed into with this, just trying to give love a shot, just trying to be optimistic and open-minded and you know have a little fairy tale little dream <laughs> did um yeah we rushed into a lot of things a lot of stuff was said prematurely a lot of stuff was done prematurely um in the course of this whole entire relationship a lot of stuff was rushed into a lot of stuff was premature um second concept there was no type of budgeting skills, no type of saving skills. There were no type of um, boundaries. There were trust issues early on. Um, I just came from a relationship that I had major trust issues in. Trust issues in. <laughs> um, the relationship I was in with my child's father gave me relationship PTSD. That is a real thing. Um, my anxiety um just about being in relationships in general i have trust issues and then when i come to you with a problem or insecurity and it feels like you kind of just like brush it under the rug and you don't really care and you don't really want to cater to that or nurture that in a proper way i feel some type of way so there's that um he had insecurities too as well pride issues I'm the main breadwinner of the house i'm the independent woman i handle everything on my own it has been done um, for years, I've been doing this on my own. So when you see this well-oiled machine and then you're trying to come into my life and you're not adding and you're just adding stress or you're adding a headache or you're adding negativity, that's just, you're not helping me in any type of way. I'm going to start wondering where your value is. And there was that. Um, he had issues with trust and tried to spew them on me and there's there's nothing for me to hide there's nothing for me to even um just do i'm too busy i'm too stressed of my own i'm too focused tunnel vision on my own stuff um to be cheating and doing any of those things i don't have time for it i don't i don't even want to indulge in it i live a simple simple life a peaceful life and i don't need any more added stress to my life so i don't want to mess up anything that i have going on that could be potentially great so yeah there's that um also there were in support issues um when it comes to me things that were going on that i need help with a lot of people know if you're a single mom your kid your kid is a big stressor and 
there was no support there like i'm not expecting you to be a stepdad or anything to her because she has a dad she has a father already she doesn't need another one um but i'm just saying the way that you carry yourself as a man and as a father figure to her i really wasn't seeing that click that connect um the way that it needed to be there um it felt a little bit artificial like fake um also, when it comes to just encouraging and being there for support, he wasn't there. He didn't support my businesses. He didn't support um, my YouTube channel. He didn't support pretty much anything that I was already involved with prior to him. Um, there was no support there. And then when it came to when I had issues with my truck and I was having financial issues, he didn't understand the strain that I'm going through because I make it look easy and I make it seem like everything is just gonna go, it's gonna happen. He didn't see the behind the scenes stress or the behind the scenes depression or the behind the scenes anxiety that I go through. And he didn't too much really care. Um, I feel like when you're in the same roof with someone you're supposed to help you're supposed to do something you're supposed to contribute to something and it just wasn't he sees that everything is going everything's moving everything is perfectly fine before i get here so why when i get here now you're asking for something and i'm like well if you're here that means there's going to be more things that need to be done and um he just didn't want to contribute and he didn't offer and me as the prideful woman that I am, I'm not gonna ask you for any help because I haven't had to ask anybody for help, but you see me struggling, you see me doing everything, help with something, help me. <laughs> you feel me, just help me. Um, that was one of the initial uh, conversations that we had was what are you looking for? What do you need? I need help. If you're gonna be here, help me. Help me with something, build with me, build this foundation, this solid foundation that we were supposed to have, it wasn't happening and the the potential that I saw in the beginning was not, it wasn't going anywhere. Nothing was moving forward, nothing was moving up. So then when it came to bigger issues and bigger financial decisions, I wasn't there to support him and I didn't wanna be there to support him because in every aspect, in every way, I felt like I wasn't being supported. So then the um, change hit, the last straw hit, when my truck um, conked down on me, I'll explain in, a, in another vlog what happened to my truck. When my truck conked down on me, he could care less. And he gave me that energy, that careless energy, that energy of, I have nothing for you. I have nothing to say to you. So that's pretty much it. And yes, the relationship ended rough. It ended rocky. Um, do I regret anything? I don't regret how I ended it. When I'm a very loving and caring person and that is my downfall. I try to help as many people as I can, but I can't help everybody. And if you come to a table and we betting everything, all in all, double or nothing, how do, why do I have poker chips and you don't have anything? You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm coming from? You see the analogy? Like, you can't come to the table with no chips. You can't come to the table trying to play the game and all you got is your hand. You gotta offer something. Offer something. Or else you're gonna be washing dishes in the back. So that's how the that's how the relationship unwinded and just moving forward. I'm single. Am I looking for anything? Am I looking for someone? No. Do I believe in I don't really too much believe in happy relationships because at the end of the day, you're gonna get tired of the person eventually. You're gonna evolve and you're gonna change and you either change with the person or you grow out of the person. So do I want to be in a relationship moving forward? I feel like the world is set up like a buffet and I just don't like what's on the menu. <laughs> like, that's just what it is. Like, unfortunately, I am attracted to men i am attracted to these guys out here but they just aren't for me i'm these guys intolerant <laughs> that makes sense like i just don't i don't i don't <laughs> like i just don't i don't want to talk to nobody i basically am in the mindset of marriage was the goal but i don't even know if that's the thing like i don't even know if that exists i don't even know if true happiness with another person exists i feel like happiness happens within yourself 
And then if the, if the people around you want to, you know, indulge in the happiness that you create yourself, then those are the people that you rock with. But I feel like there's always going to be a downfall. I feel like you're going to get tired of the person that you're with or in a relationship with eventually. I feel like you're going to grow apart in somewhat way, shape, or fashion. I feel like that is just inevitable. Um, I know that happiness is out there. I know that it does exist. I know that there are happy, um, prosperous relationships. It's just not something that's happening. I feel like it's rare. Um, I know of some really great examples. I know of some really great flourishing and positive examples. I've seen it myself. Um, but just like for me, it just seems like it's it's a gamble and I'm rolling dice and I'm not getting sixes and I'm tired of rolling dice. I, it just is what it is. So until further notice, I see red flags. I, I wipe my hands. I'm done. Like, if you remind me of my ex in any sort of way, not him, but if you remind me of what I tried to run away from, you gotta go. Like, you gotta go. So, I'm unapologetically myself. I'm not gonna ruin any more of my friendships for relationships. I'm not gonna do that anymore. Um, I just like being able to be me and being able to talk to whoever I want to talk to, being able to do whatever I want to do. And I'm tired of relationships restricting me from that too as well. Um, there's these possession issues. There's these control issues that people like to have on you, especially when you're in relationships. It's kind of like a sense of property and I don't like being felt like I'm property to somebody. I am me and to be with me, I come with a lot. You gotta have your stuff together and you have to be able to compromise and understand everything that comes with me. So yeah, that's basically it. Those were the issues. Those were the red flags and everything. Like that's basically why it ended. And just moving forward, I know what to do, what not to do, what to trust, what not to trust. And yeah, if you don't come to the table with anything, offering anything, I'm not betting all of my poker chips. So yeah, thanks you guys for listening and tuning in. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Also be sure to turn your post notifications on because you don't want to miss a single video. And in the next video, I will be explaining what happened to my truck and why I had to get a new car. So uh, yeah, um, I love you guys. Thanks you guys so, so, so much for supporting me. Thank you for being a part of the 10.5 fam and to my new subscribers. I love you guys and I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.